Okay, so we are on chapter 11, lesson one. And our learning goal today is to use a model to divide by unit fractions. Okay, so let's take that apart for a second. What is a model when it says use models? What does that mean? Atharva? Use a drawing or use a picture. Very good. To help us divide by a unit fraction. What is a unit fraction? What's a unit fraction? Hey, Mont? A unit fraction is, is a fraction with the Always Good. So what's an example of a unit fraction? Sanjana? One tenth. One tenth. What's another example of a unit fraction? Atharva? One fifth. One fifth. What's another example of a unit fraction? Arjun? One sixteenth. One sixteenth. Daniel? One one hundredth. One one hundredth. Okay. So, okay. So let's say we have this problem. Krista is making bread. The recipe calls for four cups of flour. Krista has a measuring spoon or a scoop that is half a cup, okay? Oh, there's a typo. That's okay. How many scoops of flour should Krista use, okay? So step one asks us to draw four cups of flour. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So here's one cup. I'm just going to draw them as unit bars. One cup, two cups, three cups, and four cups. Okay. What is the question asking? What should I find out, Kevin? How, cups she needs. How many scoops? How many scoops she has to do with half a cup measuring? Sure. So she only has a half cup measuring scoop, and she needs to measure out four cups of flour. Okay. So we need to find out how many times she needs to use her scoop. Okay. So step one was to draw the four cups of flour. You should have that in your notebook. Step two, then, is to draw half scoop at a time. Okay. So here's one half scoop. Here's another half scoop. Here's a 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 half scoop. Did I use up all four cups of flour? Yes. Okay. Do you see the, the different half scoops there? Yes. So I, I modeled half a scoop at a time with my drawing until all four cups were used up. How many times did I have to scoop? How many times did I have to scoop? Michaela? Eight times. Eight times. Very good. Okay, so then now we can record our equation. Okay, so how many cups did we have of flour that we needed to scoop? How many cups? Swati? Okay, we had four cups of flour that we needed to scoop. And how big was our measuring spoon? Ruba? One half. Half cup. So I had to divide the four cups into half cup scoops. And how many times did I have to scoop? Riley? Eight. Eight. So our equation then says four cups divided by half for the half cup scoop equals eight. Okay. Now, step four is to check by multiplying. How can I use a multiplication equation to check my answer? To see if four divided by one half really equals eight. Vienna? So I can check by doing 8 times 1 half. And go ahead and do that right now. We know how to multiply fractions. What's 8 times 1 half? Another way to think about that is half of 8, right? So what is 8 times 1 half? Arshi? What's 8 times 1 half? So that's 8 times 1 half. Which is 4. So does that work out? When we check our answer, do we know that we did the math right? Yes. So we know then for sure that she has to do eight scoops to measure out the four cups. What happens if Krista had a one-third scoop instead of a one-half scoop? How many one-third scoops of flour would she need to measure the, one, the four cups of flour? Okay, so what was my step one? What's step one? Sadvika? Okay, so let's go ahead and draw those four cups of flour again. One, two, three, four. Good. What was step two? Goni. Um, I think it was to, I think now you need to divide each cup of flour into 
good because I have a one-third scoop. So I need to divide each cup of flour into three parts. So one, two, three. Whoa. Okay, so I don't know why I stopped recording, but here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's use up those three. Okay, so Michaela, what is the equation this time? Um, four divided by one-third equals twelve scoops. Four divided by one-third equals 12 scoops. Good. And then how can I multiply to check my answer? How can I multiply to check my answer? Arjun? You can multiply 12 times one-third. 12 times one-third. Okay, go ahead and do that to make sure that's the right answer. 12 times one-third. Multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. What do you get when you multiply 12 times one-third? Aditya? You get four. And also, Does that check to make sure our answer is correct? Yeah. I know. Very good. 